Hey y'all, what's up? Jamie, that's me here. Welcome back to the channel, honey, and welcome back to the quick chat, okay? Um, on this quick chat, we will be talking about Shawnee O'Neal, okay? I want you guys to make sure that you're coming into the video, you are liking the video, you're sharing the video, and you're also subscribing to the channel. Those are just a few of the ways that you can support the channel, okay? And it is indeed free, all right? So we appreciate you guys. Now, I want to talk about Shawnee O'Neal. Yes, the woman that is now the first lady of a church, she's married to Pastor Keon Henderson. But before there was a Keon Henderson, OK, understand she was also married to Shaquille O'Neal. All right. And can I just say while we're speaking on that, I always thought that Shawnee and Shaquille O'Neal like were like college sweethearts. But I was completely wrong. I always thought that all of her children was by him. And I was completely wrong. And we'll get into those details because that is not necessarily the case. But. The reason Shawnee O'Neal is coming to the front at this particular time is because some guy that is supposed to be, I guess, a producer turned rapper or whatnot, he decided that he was going to sit down and do an interview. And in this interview, he kind of, you know, wanted to touch on his relationship with Miss Shawnee O'Neal. Now, listen, this came so left field to me. OK, this guy's name is L Luce. Cannon. That is his name, Loose Cannon. Looks like he happened to be a producer for Nipsey Hustle at one point. May have even done some work with Drake. But he sat down with No Jumper as well as WAC 100, and he just pretty much talked about a lot of stuff. Of course, he talked about Nipsey Hustle and having a conversation with him before he passed, you know, shortly after they got off a call. Um, and he also speaks on the Shawnee O'Neal situation amongst a lot of stuff. I think the interview ended up being over an hour. I didn't sit and stay that long to see everything that he had to say. Was not fully interested in everything he had to say. So when this piece of the clip went viral, him talking about Shawnee, I said, now, wait a minute, Shawnee did what? Because he's over here alleging that Shawnee paid him money, a lot of money to come and smash her before she got married to Pastor Henderson. Girl, what? You said Miss Shawnee O'Neal did what? It came so left field. But you know what? I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to be quiet. And I'm just going to play the video so that you guys can check out exactly what it is that this man had to say about Miss Shawnee O'Neal. Shawnee O'Neal told me. I don't believe that. Nigga. Shawnee O'Neal told me but the no, same thing. But Shawnee told Kenny. When she brought me on uh, my watch. You was fucking Shawnee? Oh, my God. <laughs> Shiny on there. Oh hey, my hey, God. You know the crazy part, no, right? Hold on, nigga. Look, look, hold on, no. Part, right? no, look. no, no. No, wait. Look, so look. That's a wild card. Listen, bro. Jesus. You bro, what are you? AP, right? Wait, who brought you an AP? Shiny, right? Uh, no, Sha Shaq's bank account. Look, Shaq got mad at me cause, because I'm fucking or whatever like that, but that's, you know, <laughs> that's a. What the fuck am I here? So, right when, now? so when I proposed to her, right? Wait, Shaq, you go off on her. He Shaquille O'Neal? Yeah. Wait, stop. He's, wait, you proposed to Shawty. No, 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 me, hell no. me, 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 me. To, to when, her. When he proposed to me, Shaq DM'd me and said, and I wish you the him. best of luck. But what the fuck luck. you got to do with Shaq? Because he was my friend. Prior to, Prior to him and Shawty. Prior to us. So, so Shaq when I know who you us, are. Yeah. Because, because he, he fucked his wife or ex-wife. No, but she was spending money on me, right? So she yeah, got me yeah, a Richard yeah, Millie. Yeah, yeah. A Richard Millie? You can't. Yeah. Come on. No, he's not. Dead on me. He's not. What happened to it? I got. Oh. It's not today? No. Oh, he gets shot too many times. He don't shot. wear jewelry oh. no more. Yeah, so it's like, at the end of the day, I was fucking. I mean, she was like a sugar mama to me on crib. So at the so end you of can't, the day, you can't, you can't. Sh men do the okay, same thing women do. I tell you right One now. Second. Okay? One second. One second. Let me ask you a question. Thing. Was you going to the house? I was going everywhere. Well, she, where, where, was, what city was listen, the house in? Listen, listen. We <laughs> she gonna be mad to the motherfucker when she see this. But at the end of the day, is. Shani O'Neal, she know what's up. I fucked her like two weeks before she got married to the pastor. Oh she was my like, God. She you gotta get her divorced. Stop Wait. it. No, she told me she was like, I need some good dick before I go down the aisle. I said, Crip, I got you. What you got for me? Oh she my was God. like, Wait, I got, I got no, you. listen, Hold she on. was like, I got 10000 for you. I said, that's not enough. When I pulled up, she gave me 50. So. She was trying to cop. She gave dick. you 50 high five, racks. High five, yeah. baby. High five. You got that it like that? Good one. High five. Yo, 
All right. So you guys just heard everything that this guy had to say. Can I just say this? We don't really know these people. And when I say these people, i.e. I mean Miss Shawnee O'Neill. So I really don't know what she's capable of. OK, now this isn't the first time that people have been, you know, speaking on Miss Shawnee being a cheater. OK, in quotation marks. And we'll get into that in just a second. All right. We'll go back in the archives. But in just a second. OK, but with this guy here, I was kind of like, hmm, is giving a little bit of clout chase because I did hear him speaking on the Nipsey Hustle situation. And when he spoke on the Nipsey Hustle situation, he also was saying that he is getting ready to release like some type of um, a reality show. So I'm believing that more details were going to come out, you know, with the Nipsey Hustle situation on his reality show. So it's like, is that the reason why he name dropped Shawnee O'Neal to kind of promote the reality show that he has coming up? But out of, out of all people, it was a bit confusing for me because I'm like, why would he name drop Shawnee O'Neal? Like out of all people like Shawnee, he could have chose anybody. But then I also thought to myself, well, hey, why not Shawnee out of all people? Because that's such a random person. Y'all would in the way that his mind could possibly work. He may be thinking y'all may believe it anyway, because y'all would be like, hey, out of all people, why would I name drop her? Right. So it still could be a, a scheme that he set up to come to us with the BS. But then it also could be actual factual because, hell, we don't damn know. All right. Now, it was some things that he said that was a bit questionable. But at the same time, I felt like WAC 100 was over talking them, not allowing them to finish some of the things that they had to say. Like he mentioned Shaq got mad at him. So we're trying to find out the details about why Shaq got mad at him. Right. Then he goes on to say uh, that uh, Luce goes on to say that Shaq got upset with his fiance. Right. And so the fiance was trying to explain what Shaq said. And it didn't seem like how she was starting off the conversation as though he went off on her. She was just like he reached out and said, hey, I wish you the best on your engagement or, or whatever the case is. And then WAC 100 jumped in. So I wanted to see, like, did he really go off? Because I'm not really believing what Luce Cannon is saying that Shaq went off. Right. I'm like, did he really go off on her? What what did he say? Because it sounds like the angle she was about to take didn't sound like Shaq was snapping on her. He was just saying he wished her the best or whatever. So I'm a little confused. He talks about how he he's received, you know, watches and things or Richard Millie and stuff from Miss Shani O'Neill. And I'm like, OK, so basically what you're admitting is that you're an escort. While you're over here trying to admit that she's a sugar mama, it's more so given to me that you're an escort, honey. <laughs> okay. And then he's saying that, you know, he's been to a lot of places. Whack 100 is like, have you, you know, been to the house? And he just kind of paused and then he laughed a bit. So I'm like, okay, I don't know if that's a yeah, but I don't want to tell you that. Or if that's a yeah, <laughs> laughing because I'm lying type of thing. I wish he would have asked the question, like, have you ever met her kids? Like, were her kids around? You know, when you and her was clicking up, what kind of places, where, where would y'all link up? Okay. For, for this to, for y'all to get it in, in this manner, how did you even meet Shawnee? So I just feel like Wack didn't dive into the questions how I probably would have really got into the questions with him. How did you meet Shawnee? How did y'all paths even cross? Have you ever met her children? So you've been to her house. Which house have you been to? The one down there in Texas or the one over there in uh, California? Which one have you really been to? You know what I'm saying? So I'll say this. The verdict is still out. We don't necessarily know whether or not Miss Shawnee O'Neill indeed cheated on, you know, this man because on a Pastor Henderson, because according to Luce Cannon, she got it in with him just two weeks before she got married. And it just doesn't really make sense to me. But then in the back of my mind, it's like we don't know these people. Right. Anything could be possible, but I'm like, why would she pay you fifty thousand dollars for some D I C K like that? <sighs> it's possible. Okay, come on, come on, um, Brandy. It's possible. Things are happening every every day. Things are happening. It's possible. Come on, Whitney Houston. It's possible. Like it's possible. But I am just having a hard time being one hundred percent. And believing everything that he's saying, because I'm like, Shawnee, you really paying somebody $50,000 to, to smash before your wedding when you probably spent about $50,000 on your wedding by itself? That's just not necessarily adding up to me. And here's the thing. What if the guy really did link up with Shawnee and they really did get it in? He's just exaggerating the numbers, right, on some clout type stuff. Maybe she did gift him 
you know, an alleged watch or whatever the case is, like maybe she did. And he, you know, is exaggerating some things like, oh, I could give you 10,000. Nah, that ain't good enough. You got to give me 50. And she's like, okay, I'll give you 50. Like that just does not make any sense to me. I feel like if, if, the, if they did cross paths in this manner, he's exaggerating a few things. Okay. But what I will say is that it doesn't seem like cheating on a spouse is anything new to Miss Shawnee O'Neill. Okay. So I had to go into the archives just a little bit and we're going to get into what reality T had to say. Okay. About Shawnee O'Neill. Now we're going to go back to the situation she had with Shaq. Okay. So they're saying, um, let's, let's go back. Shaquille, I'm sorry, Shawnee O'Neal is the soon to be ex-wife of NBA star Shaquille O'Neal. Now understand this article was written back in April of 2010. All right. They said that the couple married in December of 20 of 2002. They have a total of four children together. Shawnee, however, had a son from her first marriage and Shaq had a daughter from his previous relationship, giving them a total of six kids. Never knew this. Always thought all six kids was between the both of them. OK, I actually just learned some of this information last year when I was watching Real Reality Gossip on YouTube, RRG. When I was checking out their page, that's when I learned these details that her oldest son is not Shaquille's. And I always thought that it was OK. Okay. So let's keep going. Now they're saying that Shaq first filed for a divorce back in September of 2007, citing that his wife was having an affair with her personal trainer. Now, Shawnee denied this claim and they eventually reconciled. And this accusation was all the more interesting considering the fact that Shaq, who's very well known for his cheating, having multiple girlfriends while married, which I've heard too, one of his mistresses got a restraining order against him in 2008. And then another mistress filed a lawsuit against him in 2010 for harassing her. Ain't that something? Now, they're going on to say that the biggest shocker came in November of 2009 when it was revealed that Shaq was having an affair with Laura Govan. And y'all know Laura Govan was over there on the show, Basketball Wives, okay? Ain't that some stuff? Five days after this made headlines, Shawnee filed for separation. And it was also reported that Laura was a friend of Shawnee's. Yeah, based on that show that they were on, right? But then this is what this is the kicker for me. Let me highlight this because this is the kicker for me. All right. They're saying, but before you go, feeling sorry for Shawnee, she might not be that innocent. The big rumor is Shawnee was still married to her ex-husband, uh, Davin Baptiste, when she began in a Fair with Shaq. Devin was uh, Shaq's accountant at the time before allegedly finding out his wife was not only sleeping with his boss, but had also gotten pregnant by Shaq. This allegedly led to the couple's divorce. Devin, okay, has however never spoken publicly about his marriage to Shawnee O'Neill. Okay, now Shawnee O'Neill, now Shawnee Henderson. All right, so we don't know what to be true. Um, a lot of people like to say once a cheater, always a cheater. But again, that is just a rumor about her first relationship. OK, um, it was ne never really confirmed. Whether or not she did cheat with Shaq and then went on to get pregnant by him and to marry him at a later time. All right. But like I said, a lot of people like to say, you know, once a cheater, always a cheater. So this information about this young man, loose cannon coming out could potentially be true. OK. Maybe a dog hasn't changed its tricks and they're still up to the same thing. But, you know, I'm willing to believe that people can change. So even if that story was indeed true, maybe Shawnee is being and has always been extremely faithful to Pastor Henderson. OK, so we have we shall see. We shall see um, if more details begin to come out about this situation regarding Loose Cannon and Shawnee and we start seeing photos and different stuff that I'm going to believe it even more. But at this time, I can't say that I 100 percent believe everything that this young man has said about him messing around with Shawnee O'Neal. Like I'm struggling. But if y'all believe it or if you don't believe it, whatever your thoughts are, feel free to go ahead and share those thoughts down below. OK, let me know what you're thinking about this overall situation. Is this a clout chase or could this possibly be possible that like 
this actually happened? Or do you think two things could be true? It did happen, but he's using the situation to clout chase as well. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below. All right. I am Jamie. That's me. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share my videos. Or follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Jamie. That's me. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye bye. Yeah. King of my city and code set. Uh, Coming, I swing like soldier rat. Yeah. Leading my people like quarterback. Why I study this shit, I'm an almanac. Yeah. Had to get up and grind. Knowledge is booming, I'm here to apply. Yeah. Came with the chip and the dip, it just single the mind. We finna do more to survive. I need my shit. Yeah. Finna the block for the gouda, we hitting the jeweler to flood out the net. Yeah. We don't do beef for computers, so straight out the sewer, we telling you rest. Yeah. Niggas be looking perplexed, so keeping my foot on their neck. Uh -huh. No map, I trust my gut for the quest. With drama, I'm fully abreast. Yeah. I was ready for years and they died of me. Uh -huh. All of a sudden, they tell me they proud of me. Yeah. I've been dropping these haters like calories. Cross them out, I came back with some battery Stand for my honor, but you run no gunner Packing a stick with a drum. Wanna catch my bad, won't fumble I done came too far to be humble